So I've heard a lot about like spiritual warfare. I've seen people go through spiritual warfare and I mean, you know, I, at this point in time, I've never cast out a demon or anything like that, but you know, I, I believed in it, but it was kind of like something that I believed just because people around me believed in it. It wasn't anything I first had experienced until this very night. And this night, I was actually with a Christian friend, and he was at my house, and we were having like a, a fire in my backyard, talking about things, just hanging out, taking things very easily, very light. But then I just started to pray, and then when we were praying, like an hour passed, maybe even two hours passed, I mean, it was a while. We were like really like stepping into the presence, and then I said this one thing out of nowhere, and this is where everything happened. I said, God, I, I believe that there are angels around here, us, you know, just as we're praying, like there's angels around here. And that's all I said. That's all I said. And, um,. My friend said, yeah, you know, I believe that too. I, I believe that in Jesus name, you know, and he's like enjoying the presence. And then all of a sudden, like as this was being spoken, I saw this is the weirdest thing. I can't even really explain it, but it was like I was looking with my physical eyes forward. And when I was looking forward, I all of a sudden saw this demonic spirit that was behind me. With my, it was like literally with my physical eyes looking in front of me, I was seeing a spirit that was behind me. And what I saw was just, uh, I just saw a shadow, which is like the most common way for like demons to be seen physically. It like appeared and then it dissipated. Like within a, you know, after a few seconds, it just started to like dissipate. And once it dissipated, I didn't see it ever again, but I felt it. And. All of a sudden, that presence that I was stepping into in the Holy Spirit and, you know, the presence of Jesus Christ was just was just going away. And so for like the next 10 minutes, we're still praying. Um, my friend, he's the one primarily praying right now. And we just kind of finish up. You know, I say, I think a few more things then we say amen. But then um, I uh, hear him say like, he's like, man, I'm so in the presence of God right now. It's been a long time since I've been so just in Jesus like this, you know. And he was just in, filled with joy. And I looked at him and I told him, I said, look, I, uh, I know the presence of God is here, but I, I, I don't, I don't feel it. Like I, I actually don't feel much like, and I really don't know what to do, what to feel. Because the way I was feeling at this time, it was very emotionally null and I couldn't really, uh, explain what I was going through or, um, I didn't know how to overcome it. It felt like I was just confused and I didn't I just didn't know what to do about it. So yeah, I just I just literally told him that, you know, that that I know the I know God's here but I don't feel him. And once I said that, he got up off his chair and he actually walked over to me and put his hand on my shoulder. He told me, he said, "You're feeling the way you do because there's a demon right behind you. It's standing tall and I'm going to cast it out. We're going to cast it out." in the name of Jesus. And at this point, I was just completely mind blown. So as he proceeded to cast out this demon, I uh, like started to try and pray with him and stuff. But I just felt so like, oppressed that like, it, it felt like my words were not in, they weren't doing anything powerful. You know, I was also trying to cast it out uh, in the name of Jesus, telling it to go in the name of Jesus. And when I did this, it like wasn't even responding. I just felt like I was trapped and helpless. But when my friend was uh, casting it out in the name of Jesus. The craziest thing happened even after that. Um, he would cast it out and I would feel it go away from me. And then he would say it went farther away because I saw it go farther away. And at this point, it was just so weird how I knew for a fact that th I wasn't crazy, that what I was seeing or what I was feeling was what someone else was also seeing. And so, you know, I, I wish I could emphasize how insane this was for me, but it was, it was, I, I was speechless to the reality that this was actually happening, that literally everything I was feeling and something that I did see originally, someone else was seeing everything else that was going on and it was exactly at the same time. So as this man kept casting out in the name of Jesus, I noticed some things. I noticed that his words, they, they were powerful. And this is the biggest thing about casting out a demon in the name of Jesus. A lot of people think that you can just say in the name of Jesus, go and it'll go. And theoretically you can. If your faith is strong. But what I've noticed is that it's not necessarily like that. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people that think that have never actually casted out a demon themselves. And what this person had in regards to casting out the demon was faith. I, I can't explain how he said it, 
you know, but there was just this this authority that wasn't even his own telling this demon to go. And he said in the name of Jesus, go, get out in Jesus name. And every time he said that go, as he spoke that go out, he spoke that word out in faith. And that's when I felt the demon get farther and farther and farther away from me. And that's when he saw it get farther and farther and farther away from me. Every time I felt it go farther away from me, he just kept saying over and over again, yep, it went farther again. I just saw it go farther. Another thing that happened was before this demon was actually going farther away from me, my friend had to break off this chain uh, that was connected to me from the demon. Um, there was there was a feeling in my heart that felt oppressed. It felt emotionally numb, right? Well, this literally without me saying anything, my friend once again said, "This demon has a chain that literally is going through your back, into your chest, and it's wrapped around your shoulder." And I was like, okay, that's interesting because this is where I'm literally feeling everything. I'm feeling everything right here. So he, he broke that off. And then after that, he was casting out the demon. And so like at the end of it, like once the demon like went really far away, like away, I was like, I still see, you know, I still feel like the demon's still trying to peek its head like over the fence or like, you know what I mean? Like it's trying to um, look for a time to come back and oppress me. So and he, he, he looked around and he said, yeah, I, I see exactly that. So cast it out in the name of Jesus. And then after that, I said, I still feel like there's a door that's open. So could you pray that whatever this door is, that it will be closed in the name of Jesus? Um, and so we prayed about that. After all of that happened, I was still emotionally numb. I was still just like, I was like this, like I didn't understand like, I was processing what just happened to me because it was insane. Like, it was literally like, like, I felt like I was in, like, some anime scene or something. But after all of this, you know, I was still emotionally numb. And I just felt this, like, I couldn't explain what I felt, but it was just all over my heart. And then my friend went over and put his hand on my chest exactly where I felt all of this happen. He put his hand right like here and pressed it into the exact spot where I was feeling all of this and said, you have a hollow hole. You have a wound in your chest and it hurts and I see it. And he just started praying in the name of Jesus and commanding it to be healed, commanding it to be shrunk off, commanding for the Holy Spirit to restore this part of me and just to love on me and at this moment there was a taste of just knowing that i have love and favor in god in this moment i like it wasn't intense but it was a taste of just just a taste of this hope in jesus that there really is a light that shines for me and is doing everything for my good so after this entire experience, we stayed up all night. I mean, I think me and him, we didn't go to bed till like five in the morning. We were just chilling in my backyard talking about all sorts of things. And that's pretty much the end of the story. So after this experience, I started to be able to understand like like de demonic activity and the way it's hidden, the way it's discreet, but I started, like it got exposed to me. Um, you know, and I'm not saying I have this great gift of discernment, but I do have a gift of discernment. That idea that we have nothing to do with demonic warfare is actually not true. It is true that our victory is in the blood of Jesus Christ, and that is it. And we can conquer all things, and they already are conquered. But the reality of it, and this is where a lot of people get things wrong, is that you have to actually step in faith and live that faith to actually see the results that the Bible and what Jesus tells us about our authority in him. The most common theology is that once someone is born again and saved, they cannot be possessed by a demon. And that is completely true. You know, you cannot literally be overtaken by a demonic spirit. Here's the thing that people don't understand. Demons, as, even though they, demons can't possess us, demons can oppress us. You know, a lot of people don't even believe that demons can oppress you because we're already freed by Jesus Christ. And like I said, this is completely true if your faith is this strong. And the reality of it is that the people that preach this the most are the people that are probably the most inexperienced with demonic warfare and encountering intense oppression.
And I myself haven't probably gone through the most of supreme demonic oppression, but I have gone through some demonic oppression that's been really difficult to understand where it's coming from, how to get rid of it, and just how to really, really step into my faith to defeat it, you know, and know that I'm forgiven, know that it is defeated through the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, it can be hard. And, you know, the, the greatest thing that someone needs, even if they sound like they're delusional, is they need love and they need support and they need to know that they have someone in Jesus Christ that is there with them. And if you're not giving them those things and can honestly be very damaging to them and hurt them even worse but regardless guys um i'm not here to talk about all this at one time i just wanted to tell you guys about my story where this i had this demonic encounter and ever since then um spiritual warfare has been a part of my life and i have struggled with acknowledging the fact that i am going through spiritual warfare because of christians that have told me that i was wrong and preached all sorts of theologies at me about how i'm insane and you know, just telling me that like whatever I experience, it's just an experience and it's just a feeling and it doesn't mean anything. But I do know for a fact that what I went through was something that God uh, trailed for me to go through and to conquer. And, you know, the biggest thing is that, and I've heard this before and it may sound cliche, but the greatest deception that Satan could ever uh, convince someone of is that he isn't real. But that's all I really have to say is that, you know, spiritual warfare is real and it is something that a lot of Christians do go through. We are free from it completely because Jesus already defeated it. So I just pray in Jesus name that your faith won't be challenged and that you can just overcome all things just like this because Jesus gave you the right the authority and the place to do that in him and so I just ask you you know not not saying that against you because I know that can sometimes when you're going through particular kinds of oppression it could feel like I'm speaking that against you and I get that but I'm not I'm speaking that with you and I love you and I and I do understand what you're going through in Jesus name and you're not crazy but I just encourage you to remember that Jesus really does love you and you do have a way out of it and you know that anything that's keeping you bound to it whether it's unforgiveness or whether it's a sin you're still uh, dabbling in or something I just pray that whatever that bond is that it's broken in the name of Jesus if you did like this video, I would love it if you did like and subscribed. And if you also have had some crazy demonic experience before and you wanted to write it in a comment or something, I would love to read it. Um, but just God bless you guys. I just ask you uh, that you're all safe and that you're all good and that you're all blessed. In Jesus' name, um, amen.